One of the principles of systems thinking is that cause and effect may not be linear and may not be closely related in time or place. So seeing problems or issues in terms of simple cause and effect relationships doesn't allow us to see the system as a whole. The tool we'll be talking about today are behavior over time graphs. These are very simple graphs that plot the relationship between two things, time and whatever it is that you want to track over time. This can be whatever behavior you wish to monitor. It can be in terms of employee actions, sales, accidents, grades, whatever behavior drives your system. The time can be measured in whatever is appropriate for whatever behavior you are looking at. So it can be daily, weekly, monthly, uh, annually, biannually, whatever serves your purpose. As with any graph, you will plot the behavior at time zero, whatever that may be. And then at your desired intervals, whatever those are, you simply will watch behavior as it rises, falls, or plateaus. Because this is such a simple graph, its importance often gets overlooked. Because cause and effect may not always be closely related in time, a behavior or an action that we start today may not have consequences in the system until much, much later, um, sometimes years later. By plotting behavior over time, we can see at what point in time the behavior changes, and that can give us a range in which to go investigate what might be factors present in the system at that time that's leading to the change in the behavior. So let's take a quick example. Suppose I just developed a new app. And I want to see how that app does in the markets. Now, because I know that the marketing for a new app uh, might be kind of a lengthy process, I may want to check initially, um, say every 30 days, and track the progress of the app over the course of a year. So I would start at T0, having sold no apps at that point, and then I might make a mark. So January, February, March, April, May, and so forth. And each month I would track how many people have downloaded my app. And I might see something that looks like this. All right? So as the app gets a little more popular and a little more popular, more and more people download. If, however, I saw something that looked maybe like this, where the app seems to be gaining in popularity and then dropping off, I might wonder what happened at about this time. Now, it could be that I made some changes or an update that weren't very popular. It could be that enough people had time to practice with the app and decided that it wasn't very useful for them. And so the word of mouth went from being very positive to, very, to being lukewarm or maybe even negative. If I wasn't monitoring this information at all, then of course I would have no idea how the app was performing. If I were monitoring it only instant to instant to instance, say every month and not looking at the whole picture, then I might be really excited in the initial months and then get very concerned when it started to drop off. But being able to see the whole picture allows me to pinpoint exactly where the change occurs and to go figure out what might have caused the change. So now it's your turn. Draw a simple behavior over time graph for an issue that you want to track. Find out what kind of pattern emerges from watching what happens on a daily, weekly, monthly, or annual basis. And see how this gives you a different perspective on what's going on in your system. These behavior over time graphs allow us to intervene in the system as needed based on recurring patterns.